it's time to go Aerodactyl hunting. Lost Origins pre-release is here. I'm a week late on opening it, but this set has got my favorite card of all time, that beautiful Aerodactyl V all art. If we get it in these packs from these boxes, I will be absolutely over the moon. But Lost Origin is looking out to be a great set. So I'm well excited to open these. Let's go. First box, crack this open. We didn't get any of the extra packs because I ordered these late from a pre-release that were just left over. But, but Giratina on the box art, we have our list of cards that is in the set. We have Finian as our pre-release primer, which is a lovely card. So there's a Finian in this set as well. So we have Lost Origin Packs, Zoroark, Giratina, uh, Namorous, and Gardevoir. Okay, Radiant Gardevoir is also in this set. All right, yeah, let's just open both boxes at once and get all the packs out. So we had Finian as our first one. I know there's a Gengar as pre-release, so I'm definitely probably going to get that if I don't get it out of my box. I do have one other box that I'm not opening in this video, because I'm saving it for the Pokemon pack challenge. But, second Primo, please be Gengar. Okay, we get a Machamp. I'm happy with Machamp, as long as it's not another Finian. That is a very nice Machamp pre-release card. And then, once again, one of each artwork, so that is fantastic. We won't mix them up, we'll just go from top to bottom. First pack, oh, it's been, do you know what, I miss opening new cards. I know we didn't, it's not been too long since we had, what was it, Pokemon Go was the last set. I'm gonna keep all the code cards because it's a new set and I want them for TCG Online. But I, I just, there's nothing like opening a new set. And we have Psychic Energy as a first card. Oh, that is a very nice Survivor card. Galarian Stunfist set in a track. Oh, hello. Box of Disaster. Okay, eight damage counters. Apom. Roselia. That looks a very familiar artwork from another Roselia. Gumi. Meditite munching them berries. Squavit stealing them berries. Oh, hello. Reverse Hollow Polyraph. And we get a Hollow Snorlax. Okay, very nice Hollow. Quite a nice ability on the card, but the attack is also very strong. But obviously, it has the downside of you have to flip two coins, and if one of them is Tails it's still asleep. So not the best attack wise, but very good still actually. Very nice hollow card, love. Who doesn't love a Snorlax card? Giratina, the devil Pokemon himself. Come on. Giratina artwork is, uh, all art is in this set with the V-Star as well. I believe there's a gold Giratina card as well. So there's a, a lot of love for Giratina in this set, obviously with him being the face of the uh, set. Oh, we've got our first Lost Zone card, just a generic Lost Zone. I'm looking forward to get a Hollow Lost Zone card because it will have the pattern as an actual Hollow. So we have Fantina. Oh, look at the two types of Gastron playing there. Oh, Spooky Boy Haunter. Rhydon. No, Rhyhorn, sorry, not Rhydon. The joke running through my head. Apom. Roselia. Gumi. Meditite. Hisuian Basculin. Okay, I'll take that. Oh, that is a beautiful Ariados card. Shinji Kandar does some amazing cards, and that Ariados is one of them. Love that new style of TCG. Enamorous, probably one of my least favorite Pokemon. It's just so awful. Like in Legends Arceus, oh, that is shiny. We've got some shiny goodness. And we've got a V-Star marker, okay. So we know we've got something in the reverse hollow slot. Put the V-Star marker to one side. So we start off with Ambipom, a bomb of snow. That is a literal pump. Uh, Litlio playing noughts and crosses in the sand, in the snow, rather. Mind food, Litwick, Snova, Rhyhorn. We get our first character rare in the Spooky Spirit Tomb. That is a great card. Straight out of Legends Arceus, it looks like. Beautiful card, and our rare is, oh, it's a Lost Zone Mag Cargo. Non-holo though, so we're still looking for that holo Lost Zone card. But that is a nice artwork. The artwork in this set is fantastic. 
us just general collectors are getting absolutely spoiled with just fantastic artwork, even in the commons and uncommons. But like, they've really stepped up their game in recent sets with uh, the artwork for just the common cards. Scoot the code card away. Four from the back. Let's go. Water. Oh, we actually guess an energy right for a change. Porygon 2, Lost Zone. Riley. A glo trippy Gloom. Tynamo. Litio. Mindfu. Litwick. Snova. Reverse Hollow Wind Up Arm. This Pokemon card is attached to can attack even if it's Sleep or Paralyzed. So that would be very good with the Snorlax card actually earlier. And that would be very good with the Electrode V that's in this set. Oh, and then we get a Dugong, non hollow rare. But that is very nice. Very similar to the Vaporeon promo that we got, where it's half in the water, half out. Right then, come on. We have. Four more packs, so that is the first build and battle box done with, or the second one rather. Can we get anything in the second one? Scoot the code cards away, so we don't see what it is. We have Fire Energy now, Galarian Stunfisk, Box of Disaster, Sligu, Snova, Jinx that's getting a character art in, I can't believe what this set's called, NK. Phalanx, that is a beautiful Phalanx card. Swab it and a reverse follow of Bomber Snow, so no character card in this card pack. And then we get a Greedon. Lovely little snot bubble there from Greedon. Right, come on, three packs left. Can I don't want to open in like Pokemon. I've abused Pokemon for his pack luck like on Lost Origins recently. Surely we can't have another one like that. Like Mert does. We have Ice Can, Iscan. Dotla, Panic Mask, we have literally Scream, Paris, Inke, Basculin, that is a nice Phantom, Makuhita, Reverse Hollow Slugma, and we get a non hollow Raichu. How can you have a Raichu in a set and it not be a hollow? Uh, if you've used your V Star power, this is Pact of the Hunt. That is a very nice card, actually. That is a very nice ability. Right, two packs left. Enamorous. Come on. I know I hate you. I know I hate you as a Pokemon, but please just be good to me on the pack art. We've got two packs left. Oh, we have a ducklet. Four from the back. And we have Metal Energy. Dotla. Oh, nice Seedra. That's the Viper again. Ducklet in the rain. Hazorian oh, Soror. Binacle. Gumi. Bronzor. <gasps> we got one of the, actually, my other chase cards of the set. Gengar being one of my favourite Pokemon. We didn't get it in our previous promo, but we got the character art here. Yes, that is fantastic. Get in there, Gengar. Love that. And we have a Magnazone V-Star as well. So we get a double hitter. What a pack. Look at that. More packs like that, please. An Amorous came through there. You might have to come up in my rankings for that, but that is a great, great pack. And then final cut, final pack, final pack. Radiant Gardevoir on the artwork. The shiny Gardevoir, come on. I believe, I believe we can do it. We can get something incredible in this pack. I can feel it. Two character rares so far from eight packs. I'll happily take that. And this pack's going to have a third in. I just know it is. Silcoon, Lady, oh that is a lovely Lampant, Porygon, Inkay, Blitbug, Finian, Spinarak, oh, there's not a character rare, I got too excited there, isn't he? Lake Acuity, oh the non hollow guy score, but that is a great set to open. Let's go through the pauses video, and you might be wondering why is there a Gengar on the front? Inside the pre release packs, you get non holo versions of holo versions that are in the set, and one of them has a Gengar. In the Finian pack, there's a non holo Gengar. So we've got two Gengars in this video, and I am excited by that. Gengar being my favourite Pokemon, so that is fantastic. There's the Finian pre release promo, and the Champ pre release promo, the Snorlax holo block in the road. Magma Zone V Star, brilliant pull, Spiritomb character rare, and my favourite card, that Gengar character rare. 
Oh, that is such a nice card. I'm very happy with that, and I've got one more box to open in my Pokemon pack challenge. So if you've enjoyed this Lost Origin opening, be sure to like the video and subscribe for more. There'll be more Lost Origins coming along the way with the official release coming in one week's time. I can't wait. Up and Pigeon, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.